It's a little known fact, my friends. Trilobites are highly dangerous. How dangerous are they? Sometimes we have to call in the air cavalry. Heck yeah, guys. Is that not cool or what? Hello my friends and welcome back to another exciting episode of Hunting Rocks. As always, I am your hunting guide Jeff and today I am back at one of my most favorite spots in the world. I am at You Dig Fossils. Yes, it is trilobite time. You guys know my love of trilobites. I'm going to go to the truck. I'm going to get my stuff out. I'm going to be here all day because I just can't get enough trilobites. So uh, let me get set up. You guys will see me down in the quarry. I'm going to move around a little bit more this time than I did in my last video. But uh, stick with me. All right, guys, we're walking down to our spot. You can see there's lots of shale down through here. And I guarantee you a lot of that shale, if I were to split it, probably has some really nice trilobites in it. But we're going to go down to my favorite spot where I worked last year. It's a short little walk. The parking area is up there. Uh, overflow parking's down here, which is kind of nice because at the end of the day, whenever that tote's too heavy to carry, I'll just drive my truck down here and load it up. But anywho, that's enough of that talk. Let's uh, let's get to digging. And for those of you wondering about price point, it's not bad. Uh, I do the all day dig, so for me it was $112 plus tax. Came to like 119, so I just told him to keep the change. But you can do a two, a four, or the full eight hour dig. But this is the quarry where I'm gonna be at. And I think I'm gonna start right down there. Let's get our tools. All right, guys, these are the recommended tools. You want a flat back rock hammer for popping open the shale. This is something new I'm trying out. It is a little thinner, so I'm hoping that'll pop the shale a little easier. Coarse gloves and safety glasses, which I have with me. I just didn't bring them down. But anywho, uh, next you're gonna find a piece of shale you wanna work on. I think this one will work. And let me show you what you do. All right, guys, let me show you what you do. You take your piece of shale, you stand it up. This one kind of has a nice crack in it already. You'll take your hammer and just split it open. Nothing I'm seeing on that side. However, this is full of trilobites and there is a trilobite imprint. So very cool. All right, I'm gonna get to work. Whenever I find some cool stuff, I'm gonna show you guys. All right, guys, I was working down in the hole there. Didn't find too much. I moved up here. And I'm already seeing trilobites sitting in this rock. I'm going to work this shelf. All right, guys, just split this one open. I got a nice little theory of kingy. Um, I'll put the spelling down at the bottom. Um, but you can see this one had, uh, it had molted. So that popped open i'm sure the other sides over here popped out so i'll have to work that away carefully and you'll be able to see how they would pop their shell as they grew so they could crawl out of it i'm going to keep this side because that does go with him and into the bucket he goes or she or whatever it was all right let's keep let's keep cracking well guys, I decided to come up here and work the wall because I uh, left my hat in the truck and don't feel like running back and getting it right now, maybe at lunchtime. But I looked down on the ground, somebody left a couple nice trilobites. Those are coming home with me. But let's check this wall, let's see what we got up here. Oh, there's another nice trilobite. Jeez, I don't even got to dig up here. That one's pretty beat up but still kind of cool. I'll take it with me. Let's get some shale out of this wall though and uh, start splitting it. Holy show tunes. Uh, yeah. You guys see that? 
That's working on the wall. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Bam! Look at the size of this monster. Hold on, let me set my camera up. We're gonna we're gonna get this out right now. All right. This big beast is gonna go in the truck as soon as I get it out. And I have to work very carefully with this. Where's my other hammer? Okay. Just a little tap a tap a -roo. Oh man, this thing is amazing. Gently and carefully. Pop that with my fingers. This is in some super soft shale too. Holy cow. I might be able to get him completely out. Let's get this out of the way. There's another trailer bite sitting right here. Okay, that's just the head that might, I don't know if that's his or not. Set that over there. Slow and steady wins the race. Doesn't break the trailer bite's face. Look how, I mean, look, that's practically dirt still. Okay, I'm going to turn off the camera. I'm going to get him out. And as soon as he is completely out, I'll show you guys on cam. All right, you guys, there he is. Not 100% complete. He is missing little bits and pieces, but that, that is amazing. That is, gosh, that's why I love this place. And there's more up there. I'm going to be working this bank for a while. Where there's one, there's bound to be another like deer all right guys i just popped these three three and a half uh he'll pop out of the uh this soft shale dirt here this stuff is hard to split you got to be real careful with it but uh i'm gonna keep working on this because this is giving me some just amazing trilobites today and the best part is it's blocking the uh rain and what sunshine we have yay all right you guys so i just took the big one up to show off and i decided to scoot over a little bit and uh glad i did started working up here and uh right there i just found a whole mess of trilobites holy cow i found a whole mess of trilobites good gravy that's all trilobites in there. So this here that I'm working on, this dirt, is what, well, this used to be this. And over the millions of years, it has started to deteriorate. Well, luckily the trilobites are still in there. Unluckily, it becomes a very, very soft material. I mean, it's just, it's dirt, it becomes dirt. So, Gonna rescue these trilobites before they are blown to whoever knows where. Now, mind you, it's still gonna take some time before that happens, but you know, save them now. All right, guys. So working that, uh, working that dirt layer that the shale has broke down into up there. There's a nice trilobite right there. Um, I'm gonna grab that in a second. You got to be really careful with them because they will break. They're very fragile. And the bad thing about them being so fragile is that's it. They're, they're, they're gone, you know. There's only so many trilobites. It's not an endless supply. It's a finite supply of trilobites. Now, mind you, they're going to have trilobites for probably the next 500 years, as many as are in here. But at the same time, you bust one, it's busted. You know, there's, there's not going to be any more trilobites. That's kind of sad. Well, guys, this is kind of interesting right through here. I believe that's a fine layer of calcite. And uh, I have a sneaky suspicion that might phosphorus under uh, UV light. I will definitely have to try that out and see if it works. I'm going to keep a little bit of this because it is pretty cool. 
but I got this big mammer jammer rock here and uh, we're gonna do some splitting I'm definitely gonna pull out some trilobites out of this thing well there's my first trilobite out of it right there little bitty guy there there's a head there and, uh, I'm gonna keep working on it. I'm gonna try to get right there you can see a body or uh, imprint of a body and there's some trilobite pieces right there so this, uh, this piece of shale is kind of strangely shaped it goes this way and this way so I'm gonna try to knock this off and work the rest and there's trilobites down there right there. there's a little bitty guy that's a baby bite I like the baby ones you know guys I think about a lot of weird things whenever I'm doing this kind of stuff you know, splitting shale like this it makes me wonder. Ooh, that's pretty. How many? See right there, it's kind of pretty. How many? Uh, how many old houses do you think back in the day when they did shale roofs have trilobites and fossils on them? And you know, guys, it could be you know just any kind of fossil, not just the trilobite. I mean. A lot of times in shale, you'll find ferns and things like that. So, I just wonder how many houses, old houses, have fossils on their roof. That doesn't mean you should climb up on the roofs of old houses and look. That would be wrong. But, if they're ever tearing one down, check the roof. Look at that little guy right there. It's a trilobabe. I'm gonna keep him for sure. I like the little ones. Don't get me wrong, I like the big ones too, but that guy, he's kind of cute. So guys, I was getting ready to leave and uh, not not leave the quarry, leave where I'm at. I'm gonna check a different area. And I found probably the smallest Pronopsis I've ever found. It's only half of him, but that's a tiny little piece of a trilobite. Keep your eyes open out here. Definitely eagle eye it. That was one that uh, somebody lost that was broken, but I have found some real nice ones. Just uh, just ground digging. Something nice to do whenever you're tired from digging all day. Just take a hike, look around. There's nice stuff that they move whenever they uh, backhoe and clear stuff out. And of course, stuff that people either don't want, throw away on accident, or just leave. Speaking of nice fossils left, I just popped him up. Don't think he's completely there. His head may be under there, but uh, I have to do some work on that and check. I'm gonna split the rest of this piece of shale it came out of though, just in case. All right, guys, lunch is over. I'm feeling refreshed. It was time to throw on the hat. The sun was coming up, and uh, we're going up on top of the hill. I hear there's some trilobites up there that are pyrotized, which means they've got pyrite in them. Now, usually whenever I clean these, I use a brass brush. So if I find ones with pyrite in them, I'm not going to clean those. The brass brush will leave a golden sheen on them, which you can take off with like vinegar. It comes off pretty easy. <clears throat> a lot of people like them because it really makes them pop. Some people like the regular black ones, in which case I use an aluminum brush to clean them. But uh, anyhow, that's beside the point. That's for whenever we get back to St. Louis. So let's go up the hill. I was walking down the hill and I decided to crack a rock and set my water bottle down. The rock I cracked didn't have a trilobite in it, but my water bottle found one for me. Thanks, water bottle. In fact, this one does not look like it had shed. So that was a trilobite that died before it shed. I mean, they're all dead, but you know what? You know what? It makes sense if you don't think about it. All right, guys, I'm digging in a whole new spot. I did not dig here last year. This is uh, down in one of the pit areas, but I'm seeing something I really like. <clears throat> That's a lot of iron staining right through there. As you know, pyrite is iron pyrite, hence iron. So there is the possibility. It may not happen. It may happen. But I might get lucky and find a trilobite with pyrite, and that would make me amazingly happy guys this is not one of my finds but this is a find from here at you dig fossils look at that 
person who found it, they didn't want to be on camera. I said, all right, that's fine. I just want to show your sweet fossil. That's a beautiful trilobite. Love this place. I was just stretching and turned my head and looked over and this caught my eye. And look at that one. That's nice. That's the actual trilobite. That's not an impression. So into the bag. Yay. Oh. Oh, he's in bad shape, but that's okay. I can, uh, I can work with this. I can repair this. We can make him better, stronger, faster. Okay, not really. He's he's pretty well dead, but not too shabby. I am gonna have to put some glue on there though, because he is starting to break up. You can see where it's begun over the eons. It's begun to dry up like this. So. He's gonna go sit right there on my pile of keeps and whenever I throw him in the bag, he's not going in the bag. I will carry him by hand. Well, he wasn't as a great a shape as I thought he would be, but I'm not complaining and I'll show you why. Because these guys also popped out, they're pretty beat up. But the big rock I sat right here that I had to take out, it had that, which was this guy right here. A little beat up, but he's still pretty cool. So I got three trilobites out, and uh, I'm going to I'm going to bust through this rock and see if there's anything good in it. Well, guys, that's it for me. I am headed out of U Dig Fossil. Love this place, but have no fear. I will be back again because the trilobites here they're a lot different than my ones in Grafton. Don't get me wrong; the ones in Grafton are still my favorite, but. Uh, these sweet Utah trilobites here, you dig? So cool, so very cool. But anywho, I got a lot of trilobites. Some of them you guys didn't see me get because, well, I've been working all day. And uh, I'll get those cleaned up and you'll get to see them whenever I'm back in St. Louis, which should be right about now. All right, guys, here's some of the trilobites I've been working on after I got home. Uh, this one is really nice. That brown coating there with it that's actually a tiny little bit let me see if I can get it to focus hold on a second as you can see right there at the tip of my finger this trilobite does have some piratization the same with this one possibly too uh, at first I thought I was seeing a trilobite that had been caught coming out from its uh, shell when it was molting but I actually think that, that is a trilobite on top of another trilobite I believe um, just perfect perfect placement of the two then of course I got this one right here uh, its name escapes me I'll put it at the uh, bottom of the put it at the bottom of the screen for you now I do have a lot more trilobites from there I'm still working on them still getting them cleaned up uh, sadly, my great big one, it, it didn't make it. It was in that very soft uh, shell, the shell that had broken down and become clay essentially again. And uh, the roads out west, the trip back home, he, uh, he crumbled apart on me. So a little sad about that. But otherwise, <clears throat> it was a great trip. I love you dig fossils. I highly recommend you guys head out to Udig Fossils. If you ever get the chance, you will not regret it, especially if you like trilobites. It's a lot of fun. Just uh, bring water, food, and uh, something to keep the sun off your head. Well, guys, as always, hope you liked the video. Hamilton hopes you liked the video. We hope we can get a like, share, and subscribe. And uh, as always, we'll see you the next time we're out hunting rocks, won't we, Hamilton? Yeah, we will. But anyhow, have a good one. Bye. Say bye, Hamilton. He already said bye.